Hello and welcome to the second tutorial that looks at the spreadsheet section of the GCSE ICT Unit 2 Control Test. Now in this video we're not going to be looking at skills as such but we're actually going to be looking at something that's really important before you start creating the spreadsheet and that is the purpose. So what is the purpose of your spreadsheet? Now Let's imagine, in this example, that I've been asked to create a spreadsheet for a local football club that wants to be able to enter data into the spreadsheet and it will calculate certain things. Mainly in this case, the number of goals scored by each player and whether they get a bonus or not based on the amount of goals that they've scored. So that is the purpose of the spreadsheet. I added a few other things in there which we'll look at in more detail in a moment. So let's have a look at the mark scheme. In the mark scheme you can see that you do get a mark, you will be assessed on whether your spreadsheet is fit for purpose or not. Now the assignment that you've been given, remember both of these documents you have downloaded from the WJEC website so you should have those available. You can see that you need to create a spreadsheet to enable the organizers to X, Y and Z. So you can have a look through those for yourself. Okay, the skills we will include, yes, the skills that we'll be looking at throughout these series of video tutorials, you will be able to transfer into your own spreadsheet. But the idea which you've been given here, the scenario, you need to create your own spreadsheet based on that. So that's under control test conditions, so that's down to you. But a lot of people do find it difficult, if I just go back to the spreadsheet, to actually decide how they're going to lay this spreadsheet out but it's easy you've just got to think about what the purpose is so I knew that I wanted in my spreadsheet to show the number of games that each player played the amount of games they played shown as a percentage the number of goals that were scored by each player and whether or not they got a goal bonus so I just decided to obviously add the player name so we knew who would scored each goal but I just decided to put a heading in there for each one of those categories and the rest was simple I just had to add in the data that I had found out then I also wanted to find out using formulas the total goals scored largest number of goals scored by an individual player the least number of goals scored by an individual player and the number of players in the team so you can see, it's not the most complex spreadsheet, there's a lot, a lot going on in there, but it really is fit for purpose because it tells me the things that I needed to find out, which were initially number of goals scored and whether or not they got a goal bonus. So as long as the outcome is fit for purpose, then you shouldn't go too far wrong with your spreadsheet. So that's an important thing to think about when you start creating your spreadsheet is the purpose. So in the next video now, we're going to look at actually starting to create the spreadsheet and some of the skills that will help you in that process.